Now then, I'm going to initiate a fun little chat with my friend here. And of course, it's just idle banter. Not at all an examination or anything clinical. That means I'll have to make sure to pay attention to everything that comes out of his mouth. Doc, I mean, Mr. Cunningham, thanks for coming to chat with me. Let's see, uh, why don't I tell you about my life in the army? We soldiers go through severe conditioning training every day. Because of that, even sitting still like this, sometimes my muscles hurt. Muscle pains, huh? You don't say. Hey, Roni, can you jot that down? It's not important. Just a memo so I remember my friend later. I would like to do that. Meaningless friendly observation. Muscle pains. Still, in, in order to get promoted, you have to study, too. I try to make time at night to read the instructional materials, but just reading all that stuff gives me a headache sometimes, you know? Huh. Your head hurts, you say. Gee, I almost missed that one. Clever friend of mine. Roni, would you be a dear and make a memo of that? I'd like to include it in my Christmas card this year. It would be my pleasure. Meaningless, friendly observation. Headache. Oh, but it's not all bad. Meals are usually pretty good. But sometimes I feel like, uh, there isn't the right balance of ingredients in the food. Right balance, huh? <laughs> Somehow I don't think you meant the food. Still, he is my pal and all. I should make sure he's eating right. Army food's famously terrible. Roni, did you make a memo? Sure would suck if you got anemic from what they're feeding him here. That is awfully sociable of you. Meaningless, friendly observation. Anemia. think the ventilation's working properly in here? I was okay until a moment ago, but it suddenly f Feeling hot? But the AC's working just fine. Perhaps my acquaintance is stricken with a fever. Wait a minute. Maybe I can make use of this. I'm sorry, old chum, but you aren't able to cooperate with any exams, right? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. So. You can't lift up your shirt and let me examine you, right? Not even as friends? No, I couldn't do that. Well, that's too bad. But orders are orders, right? Nevertheless, buddy, if you feel hot in here, feel free to take your shirt off and cool down. I mean, after all, it's just us guys in here, right? The bros, huh? Just a couple of buds. What about me? I do not believe I am technically a bro. There you go again. Always trying to drive a stake between us. You're jealous of what we have. Well, that's one way to do it. Well, it is pretty hot in here. Maybe I will take my shirt off. Well, go right ahead. No sense being uncomfortable when we're having such a pleasant conversation. Would you like me to make a fever memo in case you wish to review this repartee at a later date? Why, yes, that would be splendid. How considerate of you to look after me and my good acquaintance here. Naturally, Doctor. It is in my programming to have a pleasant bedside manner. Mister, you've been a good friend. I trust you'll know what to do. Pigment spots. That's not a good color. Roni, this is very rare. Bravo to my friend here for displaying such exquisite coloring. Memo on its rareness. Meaningless friendly observation. Pigment spots on skin. Hmm. Bloodshot eyes. I hate it when my friends have these troubles. Roni, 
Can you jot that down? File it in one of those uh, useless non-medical databases. Here is the perfect place for it. Meaningless friendly observation. Bloodshot eyes. Alright. We've gotten all the sim- I mean... Man, oh man, that was a riveting discussion. Roni, I think my old pal needs his rest. Perhaps we should return to our workspace and rest as well? I agree, Doctor. have enough information. I'll need more if I'm going to narrow down the disease. Roni, I'm going back to the exam room. We need to get as much information as we can from the patient. Doctor, the army's leaders seem to be making a move. Please be careful. Hey, what's the matter? Stay with me. Uh but I... it suddenly... Uh, I need to examine you immediately. Just hang in there. Breathe! Oh. 